what's going on y'all welcome back to my channel if you're interested in seeing how i make my cmos gel just keep on watching so first of all you're going to need cmos i am using the fruits and roots cmos and i will leave a description um or i will leave a link in the description box to their website you will also need a strainer and a bowl to soak your um, sea moss in and then you will need a lime. I'm making a smaller batch of sea moss so I only need one one lime and you will be needing uh, spring water to soak the sea moss in overnight okay so here you just see me going in and rationing out the amount of sea moss that I will be using and guys um, I don't have like a specific measurement but just keep in mind that a little bit of this stuff goes a long way because it expands like three times its size. So uh, just keep that in mind when you are, um, you know, deciding on how much sea moss you want to work with. Um, this is honestly trial and error. The first couple of times I made sea moss, I made way too much. So <laughs> a little bit goes a long way, okay? So here you just see me using my strainer and rinsing the sea moss under cool water. Um, and I just like to do this because it kind of knocks off some of that initial saltiness that um, is on the sea moss because this does come right out of the sea. <laughs> so as you can imagine, it is very salty and um, also sometimes, you know, it might have like some debris as well from the ocean. So it's just good to give it a nice rinse under running water. Okay. And as you can see, it's already a lot more lively than it was when we first pulled it out of the bag. Um, but this is nothing compared to what, it, what it'll be once it soaks. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just showing you here. So now we're just going to take our sea moss and drop it into our bowl and um, in preparation to soak it. And I will be taking that lime and cutting it in half and squeezing the juice in the bowl. Um, and, and what this does is just neutralizes the taste even more so that, you know, that sea salt taste isn't so overwhelming and um, it also helps the sea moss stay fresh in the fridge a bit longer so yeah we're just gonna squeeze our limes into our bowl here with our sea moss and kind of give it a little toss before filling our bowl up with water okay and with your water you just want to make sure that your water is covering the sea moss and then a little bit more um, because this sea moss is going to really expand and soak up this water so you want to make sure that it's enough in there to keep you know most of the sea moss submerged throughout the soaking process okay and we're just going to cover this and come back to it in the morning um, you can soak your sea moss for as little as four hours being the minimum but i just always like to do it overnight so this is me coming back to the sea moss after the night and um, as you can see it has swelled up so much it literally is filling up the bowl um, it feels so gooey and just it's it's a really neat texture <laughs> um, so yeah that's one of my favorite parts seeing you know the um, the change in the sea moss from the beginning to like after you soak it it's so cool so here i'm just showing you um that you'll need a jar a nice size jar for after you're done blending your sea moss and we're just going to be adding about half of the sea moss into our blender and i will also be adding um some water in there as well and <clears throat> you want to be careful when you are um, adding water 
Uh, just take it slow and, you know, check the consistency as you go because you can always add water, but you can't take it away once you blend it up, you know, so just be mindful of that. It's really hard to mess up sea moss gel, um, but I will say that it does take some trial and error to get it a nice, you know, the consistency that you are pleased with. So um, don't be discouraged, but, you know, just keep in mind that you can incrementally, I don't even know if that's a word, but you can add in increments, you know, as far as your sea moss and your water goes, okay? So here I'm just blending up the sea moss um, for the first round, and you'll see when I take it out, it's a bit watery, and that's a little too watery for me. I prefer my consistency to be a little bit thicker. So um, I'm just going to put the rest of the sea moss in without any water and blend it up to get it to the consistency that I'd like, okay? And that's what you're gonna see me doing um, in the next couple minutes or so. And all of these um, blend sessions were roughly a minute and um, the blending is really essential to getting a smooth sea moss gel um, because if you don't blend it good enough, it'll just be really chunky and um, it's not going to be something that you're going to look forward to taking. So you want to try to get the gel as smooth as possible, uh, whether that be adding a little more water or blending a little more thoroughly. Um, just keep those things in mind, okay? So yeah, and uh, this is pretty much... The perfect sea moss gel for me um, just you can see how it kind of sticks to the lid of the blender and um, you can see it's almost like a applesauce consistency and that's kind of that's typically what I go for right so being that I love this consistency I'm just gonna put it on the blender one more time just to make sure everything is thoroughly blended throughout and here I have my final sea moss, my final sea moss gel. Guys, it's really easy. It's amazing for you. Um, I am pregnant right now, and this is one of the things that I supplement in my diet. And um, it's so good for pregnancy. It's good for um, anyone, but it's also wonderful to take uh, during pregnancy. And I also have... A video on that on a little bit more about sea moss if you're interested in some of the benefits and things like that I'll link that video as well thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button until next time peace